Hi guys and welcome back to part 11 in the series clinic management system in C-Sharp. So in this part we're going to implement the edit profile form. So it's going to be a common form that is going to be used for doctors and secretaries. So we want to start by creating a new form. So right click on the project name, choose add and then Windows form. I'm going to name it edit profile. So now we need to add seven text boxes, eight labels, and a date time picker. All right, so this is our form. So the text boxes for the account ID and the username and the type and the created on are read only and the rest are editable. And this is the date time picker that we're gonna use for the DOB. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now is double click on the edit account button. So this is where we're going to write our code. But first, we need to pass the account ID to our edit profile form because we're going to use this account ID to identify which profile uh, we want to address so in the constructor of the class edit profile we're gonna provide an argument which is an end count underscore ID and then we're gonna create a public uh, end account underscore ID and then in the constructor we're gonna say this the account underscore ID is equal to account underscore ID. Okay, so this is the first step. The second step is actually to fetch uh, the information from the database in our form. So it's gonna fetch the current information that we're gonna edit, okay? So we're gonna wanna double click on our form to go to the event uh, of the form load. And first of all, before this function, we want to create our connection, right? But in order to create the SQL connection, we have to be using client, And then we're going to create our connection. So SQL connection, we're going to name it con is equal to new SQL connection. And I'm going to provide the connection string, which is in properties dot resources dot connection string okay so we're going to create our command now uh, in the edit profile load function so sql command command is equal to con dot create command and then command the command text is going to be select user underscore username account underscore name account underscore dop account underscore phone account underscore type account underscore note and account underscore creation underscore date from our tables user and account where we're going to specify our join condition which is actually account underscore user underscore ID is equal to user underscore ID. So this is the join condition between the two tables. And account underscore ID is equal to add account underscore ID, which is a parameter that we're going to provide, right? Command dot parameters dot add with value account at account underscore ID and then our account underscore ID the integer that we globally define right okay so now we want to open our connection so con dot open and remember when we open the connection we have to close it again so con dot close so we're going to obviously call execute reader because we want to fetch the whole record right so SQL data reader I'm gonna name it reader is equal to command dot execute reader if reader dot read 
then we're gonna fetch our data into our text box so text box one the text is gonna be the uh, account ID so account underscore ID to, to string and text box to the text is gonna be uh, the the, the, the username which is actually the first column in our query so reader dot get value of zero dot to string and then the text box uh, three dot text is gonna be the name which is reader dot get value of one dot to string then the dob is gonna be loaded into our uh, date time picker so we want to actually write this in a try catch block because if this is uh, if the date is empty then it's not going to be loaded so try date time picker one dot value is equal to date time dot parse then we give it the string of the uh, dob which is actually reader dot get value of two dot to string and then we're gonna catch exception and do nothing right okay text box for the text is equal to reader dot get value of three dot to string which is actually the phone number and then the type so we want to perform a check on the type so if the type is zero then we're going to want to uh, display that this is a secretary if it's one then this is a doctor if it is three then it is obviously a patient right so i mean if it's two then it's a patient so if reader dot get and 32 of four if it's equal equal to zero then this is a doctor so text box five the text is equal to I mean this is a secretary so it's secretary all right else if reader dot get in 32 of four equal equals one then text box five the text is equal to doctor else if reader dot get in 32 of 4 is equal equal to 2 then this is the text box 5 the text is equal to patient right then text box 6 dot text is equal to reader dot get value of 5 dot to string and finally text box seven the text which is the creation date so reader dot get value of six dot two string all right so we are done now with loading the uh, the initial information to our uh, form so what we're gonna do next is actually editing this info so let's go back to our design mode and double click on the edit button and then we're gonna create the SQL command so SQL command gonna command is equal to con dot create command command dot command oops command dot command text is equal to update then our table which is account set count underscore name is equal to at name account underscore dob is equal to at dob account underscore notes is equal to uh, at notes and account underscore phone is equal to at phone where account underscore id is equal to at account underscore id so these are parameters that we're going to specify now command the parameters dot add with value account underscore oops at name which is going to be actually in 
text box three the text then command the parameters to add with value at dob which is gonna be in the time picker one dot value dot two string then command the parameters to add with value I'm gonna add the phone which is actually in text box for the text and then command the parameters the add with value and we're gonna want to add the notes at notes which is in text box uh, six dot text and finally add our account ID so command the parameters the add with value at count underscore ID so it's account underscore ID and then we obviously wanna call the execute non query but before doing this we have to open our connection so con dot open and then con dot close if command dot execute non query is greater than zero then we're good message box dot show um account was updated else message box dot show account was not updated right okay so remember that we said before that we have to validate the inputs so here the only input that we are interested in checking that is truly entered is the name actually so we want to check for text box 3 so we can perform this check at the beginning of this function here so if text box 3 dot text is equal equal to an empty string then we want to return and do not edit this uh, this count right and we can also display a message to the user telling him that the name is empty so message box dot show please enter a name right okay so that's it now we're going to call this form from other uh, forms so we're going to call it from the doctor panel and the security panel for now so let's do double click on the doctor panel are we going to want to add a button let's call it edit profile or edit edit account we want to double click on it and then type hide to hide this form create a new object of our edit profile class so edit profile we're going to name it edit profile is equal to new edit profile and then we're going to provide the account id which is actually account underscore id because we previously um added the account id when we called the doctor panel form so edit profile dot show dialog and then we're going to show again our form after editing the profile right so uh we're going to do the same for the secretary panel let's give it a try now we gotta log in as doctor so doctor one two three let's log in edit the account okay so this account id5 username is doctor the name is Kara, and here we go let's change the dob of Kara to be um like anything let's choose a random date and enter a phone for her 
maybe any random numbers okay and then enter the nodes chorus nodes let's edit the account account was updated cool let's close this now let's hit edit account again and here we go we see that the account information was added in our database let's try to do the same for the secretary so we're gonna log in as secretary edit account and this is the secretary John let's uh, change his phone number for example to anything and edit account account was updated close it open it again here we go okay so that's it guys for this tutorial and catch you in the next one